Hi there, I'm Sean Doman. In this video, I'll walk you through how to set up scan to email in both ScanSnap Home and through ScanSnap Cloud, so you can send your scan documents straight from your scanner by email in one easy step. If you have an IX2500, IX1600, IX1400, IX1300, IX100, or SV600 scanner, this video is for you. At the end of this video, I'll tell you how you can download my simple guide which contains easy to use instructions and answers to frequently asked questions. As always, if you like this video, please be sure to comment, leave a like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Before I begin, please note that this video is sponsored content brought to you by Rico. But as always, all of the opinions expressed are my own. And before we jump into how to set up scan to email let's talk about why it's such a useful feature, especially if you work in a busy office, run a small business, or just want to stay organized at home. The main benefit of using scan to email is speed and convenience. You can instantly deliver scanned documents to yourself or others and skip steps like saving to a folder or manually attaching scans to an email. Another benefit is that you don't need extra software because scan to email works with built-in email apps like Microsoft Outlook, and if you set up a cloud-based option using a ScanSnap IX2500 or IX1600, once it's set up, you don't even need to use a computer. The third benefit is that scanning directly to email helps with maintaining a paperless workflow and document tracking. And for example, it can be particularly useful for quickly sending scanned receipts or invoices directly to a specific email address at an accounting department. The final benefit is that by putting your scans into the world of email, they become easier to file, organize, and forward. By using email routing rules in Microsoft Outlook, you can unlock even more power, because by following a few simple steps, you can make rules that will automatically send your emails to a specific folder. For more details on this, check out my video in which I walk you through the benefits and steps of setting up email routing rules in Microsoft Outlook. Okay, so let's start by looking at how to set up Scan to Email in ScanSnap Home. ScanSnap Home is the software that powers the ScanSnap IX2500, IX1600, IX1400, IX1300, IX100, and SV600 scanners. If you need an introduction to ScanSnap Home, please see my install walkthrough video. However, in this video, I'm assuming that you already have a ScanSnap scanner with ScanSnap Home installed. Start by opening ScanSnap Home and then clicking the large blue button that says Scan in the top left corner. Next, you'll see this window that displays the different scan profiles that are already configured on your scanner. If you see a profile for Scan to Email, Click on it and then click the Edit Profiles button in the top right corner of the window. If you don't see a profile for Scan to Email, click on the button that's second from the right in the top corner of the window to open the Add New Profile screen. Click Scan to Email, then Add, and then click the Edit Profiles button. You'll now see the Scan to Email profile. Scroll to the bottom of the window and you'll see where it says Scan to Email. If you want to make any changes to the scan settings, I made an entire video about the settings in ScanSnap Home. So if you want more information, please be sure to check out that video. Click Save to go back to the main screen and insert a document into your scanner to do a test scan. In this case, I'll be using this sample registration form. I'll insert the form into the scanner and using the Scan to Email profile, I'll click Scan. The document will now be scanned and I'll see a preview of the scan document here in the Scan to Email window so that I'll see exactly what I'll be sending by email. I'll click Attach to proceed and this will take me directly into my default email application, Microsoft Outlook and automatically attach the file to a new email that will be sent from my default email address. I'll input my recipient's email address, add a subject line, add a message, and click send. My email will be sent with the form attached and back in ScanSnap Home. The scan to email window will close and I'll also see that the scan is saved to my computer. Just to clarify, sometimes people ask me if a copy of the scan document is saved in ScanSnap Home after it's sent by email. And the answer is yes. In addition to sending the scan by email, a copy is also saved in ScanSnap Home. So that's everything you need to know about using Scan to Email in ScanSnap Home. But what if you want to send scans directly by email through the cloud from your scanner with no computer needed? If you're using a ScanSnap IX2500 or IX1600, you can scan a document and have it directly emailed using ScanSnap Cloud. If you're not familiar with ScanSnap Cloud, check out my walkthrough video where I tell you all about it and walk you through the steps of downloading the software, connecting your scanner to your wireless network, registering for a ScanSnap account, and connecting ScanSnap Home to your cloud services. Because I show you all the setup steps in that video, in this video, I'll only be showing you how to use scan to email with ScanSnap Cloud. To start, go back into ScanSnap Home and click the large blue button that says Scan in the top left corner. 
Next, you'll see this window that displays the different scanning profiles that are already configured on your scanner. If you already have a profile called Email Directly, then you're ready to go. If you don't already have this profile available, click the button that's second to the right in the top right corner to open the Add New Profile window. Scroll down to where it says Cloud Services and click on Email Directly. This will bring up the information for this profile, and if you look at the bottom, you'll see a button that says Email Settings. Click this button to bring up this settings window where you input the email address or addresses that you want to be the recipients of your emailed scan jobs. I'll add my own email address for testing purposes, but you can enter whatever email address you like. I'll click save, which will return me to the edit profile screen, and I'll click add to be returned to the main scanning control window. I'll again insert this sample registration form into my scanner, and through ScanSnap Cloud, using the email directly profile, I'll click scan from my scanner's touchscreen. I'll receive this warning message which says that once a scan is sent by email, it can't be retracted, and I'll press yes. I'll check my email in Microsoft Outlook, and voila, I have a new email message from mail.cloud.scansnap.com attaching my scan test document. As you can see, using this method to send a scan document is fast, easy, and convenient, particularly if you know that you're planning to send whatever you're scanning by email. So with that, there you have it. That's how you can use ScanSnap Home or ScanSnap Cloud to send your scans by email. If you liked this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to share, I'd love to hear about your scanning experience. Write a comment below and let me know. Who do you email scans to the most? Yourself, your accountant, or someone else? Are you using ScanSnap Home, ScanSnap Cloud, or both? Let me know what you prefer. And what kinds of documents do you scan and email the most? Receipts? forms, or something else. For advice on how to scan and organize all of your documents, please see my video on how to scan and organize everything. If you'd like to download my simple guide, which contains the instructions that I covered in this video and answers to frequently asked questions, please visit my website at www.seandillman.com. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'm Sean Dillman. Thank you.